আসসালামু আলাইকুম শুভ সন্ধ্যা এটিএন বাংলায় ইকার এখনকার আয়োজন এডুকেশন আওয়ার আপনাদের স্বাগত আমি সিরাজুল বাসি জয়কে শুভেচ্ছা জানাচ্ছি আমরা চলে আসলাম এক সপ্তাহ পর নতুন টপিক নিয়ে কথা বলার জন্য আজকের টপিক ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফর দোজ স্টুডেন্টস অ্যান্ড প্যারেন্টস আর ওয়াচিং দ্য প্রোগ্রাম টু নাইট পার্টিকুলারলি দে আর ইন প্রাইমারি স্কুল অ্যান্ড দে আর অ্যাবাউট টু গো টু মেবি সেকেন্ডারি স্কুল ফ্রম ইয়ার ফাইভ সিক্স ওয়াল ফ্রম ইয়ার সিক্স is very important a lot of parents sometimes they ask about grammar schools and private schools so we have a topic today we have chosen studying at grammar and independent schools we have repeat for this is our topic studying at grammar and independent schools so grammar school is the kind of age onek chilo ekono bash grammar school gulo ache grammar school gulo mainly state funded বা এটা সিলেক্টেড স্কুল সেখানে ভর্তি পরীক্ষা হয় সেখানে বাচ্চারা ছেলেমেয়েরা ইয়ার সিক্সের পরে ইয়ার সেভেন থেকে যায় সো আমরা অনেক অনেকে বলে থাকি ইলেভেন প্লাস এক্সাম সো গ্রামার স্কুল এই দেশে আসে বিভিন্ন বাড়াতে সেটা গভর্নমেন্ট ফান্ডেড মেনলি অ্যান্ড সিলেক্টেড এগুলো এবং ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলস মেনলি আমরা বলে থাকি গ্রামার স্কুল কাইন্ড অফ ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট বাট মেনলি ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুল দে আর প্রাইভেট স্কুলস সো দে হ্যাভ দেয়ার ওন টিউশন ফিস দে সেট আপ they are curriculums obviously they follow national curriculum they adapt that but they are very independent tar tader nijosho gotite chole ebong mainly parents jara asen taderke fee pay korte hoy bochhor hoy to 10 15 20 30000 pound pay korte hoy unless they have scholarships very bright bright student they get scholarships tar ashe kotha bolbo grammar and independent school liye ar amader ajke shobai go dui jon student eshe se tara ekjon grammar school ebong ekjon independent school e jay একজন প্যারেন্ট এবং একজন টিচার ওয়েল প্যারেন্টস উনি নিজে একজন টিচার উনি এসেছেন কথা বলার জন্য যাই হোক আমাদের টপিক স্টাডিং অ্যাট গ্রামার অ্যান্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুল দুজনের সাথে পরিচয় করে দিচ্ছে আমার বামে প্রথমে আমার বামে বসে আছে আহনাফ মির হু ইজ এ স্টুডেন্ট অ্যাট কিং এডওয়ার্ড সিক্স গ্রামার স্কুল আসসালাম আলাইকুম ওয়ালাইকুম I'm good. You're good. Only good. Uh, I would like to hear people. Just good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, which school do you go to? I already mentioned that. Uh, King Edward. King Edward's King Edward Sixth Grammar School. And you are a student in year? Seven. Seven. So, it's a great privilege and very happy to introduce you. Welcome to Education Hour. Thank you. And on my far left, another very known face for me actually. I have seen her many performances in the past. She is a multi-talented person. Thank you. And she goes to a very special school, I would say. One of the best schools in the world, I would say. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. St. Paul's Schools for Girls. Yeah. Tracy Mundell. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. How are you today? I'm good today. I'm in half time already because I finished So why are you good then? Um, not because excellent, not very good. I am very good as okay, well. It's good. nice to be on a relaxing break from school. Okay. Usually how many weeks do you get holidays? Um, so for the first half time we get two weeks and for Christmas we get about four and then Easter about four and our summers about eight weeks. <laughs> too many weeks you have, but come on, this is not fair. It's you go to independent private school and you have yeah. so many holidays. So because our days are very long, we, it's like work from 8 till 4 every day. So we have, it's very packed, it's quite intense with a lot of homework. And so that's why we have quite stress relieving breaks in between. Wow, Tracy, it's a great privilege yeah. to introduce you uh, in my program, Tracy Mondal. So welcome to Education Hour. We'll Thank talk you. More. এবং আমার বামে বসে আছেন একজন প্যারেন্ট এবং তিনি একজন কলেজের টিচার আনাফের আম্মা শাহিদা আজম কেমন আছেন আমি খুব ভালো আছি থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ ছেলেকে নিয়ে আসার জন্য both responsibilities both responsibility <laughs> teacher you have to work during the day time obviously and uh, after it's uh, like i have 24 7 job absolutely like 100% <laughs> agree 100% agree with you so welcome to education hour thank you so for both of you and apa as well 
uh, Ahnaf's your mom. Yeah, and it's very happy to see both of you. Uh, so our topic is grammar, studying at grammar and independent school. So Tracy, do you know the difference between the grammar and independent school? Yes. So what? can you, can um, you explain it? grammar schools and independent schools are both selective, which means they're tested on your ability. So you take 11 plus exams. However, independent schools are different in the sense that they're fee paying whereas grammar schools are state funded so independent schools receive like no government funding so which means that they have the freedom to choose um, their like they can adapt the national curriculum and then they can add in their own extracurriculars and also they can choose their holidays anytime they like yeah extra extra holiday rather than yeah. one week we get they get two weeks yeah we get two weeks they get four weeks yeah they have full control on what they decide to do okay so this is very good yeah. and obviously as you said they are fee paying schools yeah so any idea how much fee they charge every year okay any so idea? um well tuition fees start from about 25000 a year per year yeah. 25000 however pounds. you also have to pay additional costs for like trips textbooks, uniform, lunches, and um, the tuition fees and everything increases by 4% every year. So I'm currently in year 10. Mm -hmm. So by now, it'd probably be about 32,000 pounds a so year. 32,000 pounds every year. So if yeah. you study for six, seven years, so seven, seven years, years yeah, that's so seven times old. 32. And also your pocket expenses, a lot of other things yeah, as well. There's so you a end lot up of expense. like about two, two, 250,000 pounds. Probably, but most people there can afford the fees, which is why they send their daughters and like sons to the boys' so school. So big, big businessmen and people there. Yeah, money. we've got... And also they're talented as well. Yes, it? because for private schools and independent schools, just because you have the money doesn't mean that yeah. you're eligible because no. you have to be very smart as well in like all the exams to get in. And then also they have to look at your financial background to make sure you actually would fit in the school. That's pretty good. So what about yourself? Sometimes you have scholarships, isn't it? Yes. In your case, what happened then? Well, so I received a 100% scholarship, which means that... Did you say 100%? Yeah, like Goodness. everything gets paid So you don't pay any fees? No, I don't. So all my tuition fees are paid for, paid for and but also my travel card, like my Oyster card, they pay for that as they well. They pay for your travel card as well? Yeah, because okay. I live um, quite far from the school. Because the school's located in like Hammersmith, so that's quite yes, West that's London, right, yeah. whereas I'm from East London. East London yeah. So they pay for my travel costs and they also pay for my lunch, textbooks, uniform, and trips and like clubs if I so want to do So you basically any. don't pay nothing? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> good, good. good. So are you happy in your school? Yeah, I'm very happy. It's obviously quite a good educational environment because the teachers are obviously very passionate about what they do and all the girls there as well they all like studying and it's fun and but also the people there are all so nice and it's really friendly warm atmosphere so I'm really wow, happy to be there. Wow this is great to hear that your St Paul's school school for girls I mean there is another one St Paul's school for the boys as well yeah. isn't it? so it's only the girls there. Yeah. How many students in the school? Um, it's altogether. quite small compared to state schools. It's about 740 in the whole school. So our year is about 110 people a year. Okay. Yeah. Very, very good. So we'll talk more about that because yeah. I have so many things to ask you about your extracurricular, your skills and so many other subjects in here as well. Yeah. And because also we we'll encourage parent people to call us to oh, know anything yeah, about grammar school and how to get into the grammar school yeah. or independent school, okay. isn't it? Yeah. Now, Arnav, if I come to you now, you're smiling, I can see, you're yes, still in So this year, you, you said you are in year seven now, yes. am I right? Yes, okay, I Okay, good. So this is your first year in grammar school? Yes, it is. Okay. Tell us about your school. Um, do you like your school? Yes, I do. Tell yeah. us something about your school. Um, my school is King Edward's Grammar School. And um, uh, this the school does have. Um, and is it located in uh, Essex somewhere? Which part of Essex? It's located in. Um, it's in Chelmsford. Chelmsford, Chelmsford, yes. Yes. Um, and uh, it's it's um I think the best school in Essex. Best school, grammar school in Essex. Very very good. And how many students do you know in your school or your year group? Oh, in my uh, group, I think it's 120. 20 students, okay. Boys and girls, mixed uh, up. No, um, I'm, 
uh, King Edwards Grammar School is a just boys school. Just a boys school. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't know that. Okay, grammar school. Yeah, only the yes. boys school. Okay. So, when did you start? About a few months ago? About three months, um, two months? No, I started in September. In September. So, tell us about your journey since September until today. Uh, How do you find it so far? It's, I wouldn't say easy but it's um coming along smoothly and uh i'm thinking about the whole from primary to secondary and also it's a different kind of secondary school it's a grammar school yes. isn't it not a normal maybe you don't you don't have many friends there isn't it usually it's a lot of friends they go to nearby schools yes okay. and so how did you get on first few months or couple of weeks uh i just made friends there easily mm -hmm. just I, j I was just being myself, you know, and yeah, I just got a lot of friends. Okay, very, very good. So tell us about you, what is special about your school, or grammar school? What is very special? Um, I would say because it has um, lots of extracurricular stuff. Extracurricular tasks, very good. We'll talk more about that later on. Yes, good. I like that extracurricular to talk about. And anything else? Um, the school is... Uh, uh, I can't think. Or okay, or maybe you can think of the subject as well as meet both students from different schools. Oh, uh, we do uh, the f the language GCSEs, I think, a year earlier. A year earlier you do. So yes. this is very good. You so can finish early and yes, yeah, so, um, the subject as well. And in year seven, we choose French or German. Mm -hmm. And um, and for French and German, we have more lessons. Yes. Um, we have more lessons in French and German than English and Maths. Wow. Because we have um, like two times more lessons because the um, because the GCSE is um, way earlier. Yes, that's very good. We'll talk more about the uh, Anav. Very nice first year in in um, in the secondary school, in drama school, and Tracy is in year ten. So we can talk about. Year seven is like a transition year, isn't it? Yeah. And year ten, you only become like a, one of the senior exactly, students yeah. in school, isn't it? Yeah. We'll talk more about that. Now, Shahida Azam, Apa. So, amra kotha bolte silam ahna veshate. Ahna ke apni shesta bhalo grammar school jaachi idhe definitely she will keep happy. Grammar school. Ita shop chhi important. Je baat school is happy. Absolutely. Ita kya apni feel kore happy tak adorkar. Hai abushi. Onak shob amar to pushi hoye jai. Parents amar to mukhe jati hobe ekhane. No. Aina. Amar mona holo jee jee amar kotha bolte sahi. Independent school jai. Ahna grammar school is dujo ni kintu kub happy. Hai. Ami ita khel korte lama chale jee baat chara jee school ei jagshe ta independent of grammar school mein jee but baat chata jodi happy tha ke she success korte parbe. Absolutely. Ita apni kub shundar ta kotha bolte. Ami jani apni jee jee teacher plus parents so. Both dinish tapni, both dinish tapni. 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 Both dinish Oh, uh, 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 he is he was in a routine or at a routine mode chilo je every day okay at least 2 hours study korte hobe or 1 hour whatever sometime but at a specific routine thakte hobe shete amra prothom theke jeta korechi oita ki but okay prothom theke khub ekta pressure dei nai just teacher er kache ek soptah ek din jeto ar jeta bollam je every day after school bashay at least 2 hours study korto continuous teacher follow korto ar ke guide kora jeta I was working in the shop, but at the end of the day, or whole study, whole day, study, ki ki chhe, plus whole homework shop. So, I was tired of studying, and I was tired of it. Or much can I wish get that Much can school take a shop at least um, six o'clock study could the bus to bus seven o'clock, six o'clock, and early bed java to on it as a jetable lamb, the routine mode the takta. A bush life money, um, okay, definitely weekend entertainer, the hobby, entertainer, could have a batch of the care of a routine mode the takajam. Six o'clock is study could the bus to eight and mode shishkore. Then nine o'clock in the middle of the day. So, if you are tired, you will have to do your routine. So, you will have to do your routine. So, you will have to do your routine. You will have to do your routine. 
এরকম যদি রুটিনটা না থাকে ব্যালেন্স না থাকে তখন কিন্তু বাচ্চাটা টায়ার্ড হয়ে যায় ইজিলি स्टाडी <laughs> 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 and not only study yeah so this is something very important being happy making sort of balanced sort of activities uh, yes and also make time for the life ta ke ashle enjoy korte dite hobe explore korte hobe jante hobe shikhte hobe je kibhabe shudh only na mane booki shor jonno na then enjoy korte hobe life ta abar mane extra jinisho shikhte hobe arekta sobche important jinish ami korechi amar chhele jonno seta hocche je choto bala theke oke boi porar je agroho ta toiri kora पढ़ाशुरुम शेष कर स्टूडेंट <laughs> स्टाडीते preparation before going to grammar school at the same time what is uh, their personal life as they are spending in school yeah while they are studying whether they are enjoying or what other things are they doing like extra curricular and academic studies tracy amra jodi ami jodi tomar kache ashi ekhon tomar subject gulo ki year 10 um so i'm in year 10 now which means i've started my gcse um studies So at the beginning of year 9 we chose our GCSE subjects. So in our How many subjects have you chosen? Well, in our school it's compulsory to do 11 GCSEs. 11 GCSEs, okay. And um seven are like compulsory so I got to choose four. So I'm doing the compulsory ones are English, English literature, maths, it's compulsory for us to do physics, biology and chemistry. So triple science. Yeah, but we don't do it as triple science. It's like There are just three single subjects. Okay, so three GCSEs there. Yes. Yeah, three separate GCSEs, yes. and it's compulsory for us to do a language. And so, so what language have we chosen? I'm I'm doing French. French, okay. Yeah, and so I've chosen to do geography, history, RS, and Latin. Okay, Ge- geography, history, and Latin. RS and Latin. RS, okay. So that's Latin. religious studies. Religious studies. And, and um, Latin, yeah. The special thing with our school is that we don't do normal GCSEs. We do IGCSEs, which international GCSEs. Yeah. The one sometimes in other countries they follow. Yeah, exactly. It's because um, most of our like a high number of our girls go on to like American universities, and so IGCSEs is more compatible with their university systems. The whereas, yeah, so um, IGCSEs are usually a lot harder. Then no more we'll GCSEs. We'll talk about the hard yeah. thing after the break. I want to let you talk about the Jamra Jabo. Among Asia, Hana, Tomasha, the Kotavalbo Tracy, Amra, Monaco Janarase, Ayah, Pidoshok, 
আমরা কথা বলছি আমাদের টপিক স্টার্টিং অ্যাট গ্রামার অ্যান্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলস আমাদেরকে একটা ছোট্ট বিরতি যেতে হবে বিরতির পর আবারও দেখা হচ্ছে আমাদের সাথেই থাকবেন প্রিয় দর্শক বিরতির পর আবার এডুকেশন আমরা আমরা কথা বলছি আমাদের আজকের টপিক স্টার্টিং অ্যাট গ্রামার অ্যান্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলস সো গ্রামার অ্যান্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলে আমাদের অনেক বাচ্চারা পড়ালেখা করতেছে দে আর ভেরি স্পেশাল স্কুলস গ্রামার স্কুলটা সিলেক্টেড হয় সাধারণত ইয়ার সিক্সে যাওয়ার পরে পরীক্ষা দিই ইয়ার ফাইভ থেকে প্রাইমারি স্কুল থেকে যখন পরীক্ষা দেয় পরীক্ষা দিয়ে ইয়ার ইলেভেন প্লাস বলে এক্সাম গ্রামার স্কুলে যেতে হয় তো গ্রামার স্কুল মেনলি ফান্ডেড বাই গভর্নমেন্ট স্টেট স্কুল বা সেখানে সিলেক্টেড ইউজুয়ালি দেখা গেছে একটা পরীক্ষা দিয়ে দেওয়া হয় সেখানে অনেক সময় দেখা যায় অ্যাকাডেমিক্যালি যে বাচ্চারা খুব ভালো প্লাস অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম তাদের হয়তো এক্সট্রা কারিকুলার স্কিলও আছে তারাও সেখানে সুযোগ পায় বেশি এবং ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলগুলো বিশেষ করে প্রাইভেট স্কুল যেখানে পয়সা দিয়ে লোকজন পড়ে তাদের বাচ্চারা পড়ালেখা করে এবং নটনলি পয়সা টাকা দিয়ে পাউন্ড দিয়ে পড়তে হবে অ্যাট দ্য সেম টাইম দে শুড বি ব্রিলিয়েন্ট দ্য শুড বি বিলিয়ন স্টুডেন্টস সো দ্যাট দে ক্যান অ্যাপ্লাই ফর ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলস সো প্রাইভেট স্কুলগুলো ফিস পেয়িং স্কুল এভরি ইয়ার অ্যাবাউট টোয়েন্টি টোয়েন্টি ফাইভ থাউজেন্ড আমরা ট্রেসির সাথে কথা বলতেছিলাম ট্রেসি মন্ডল সেন্ট্রাল স্কুলস ফর গার্লস ওয়ান অফ দ্য বেস্ট স্কুলস আই উড সে ইন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড অবভিয়াসলি ইন দিস কান্ট্রি ইস গ্রেট স্কুল ওনলি সে অ্যান্ড পিপল নো দ্যাট অ্যান্ড আহানাফ মির আমাদের সাথে আছে সে গ্রামার স্কুলে যায় কিং এডওয়ার্ড দ্য এইট সিক্স গ্রামার স্কুল ইস ইন চ্যাম্পস ফুড সো বোথ অফ ইউ ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক ট্রেসি মন্ডল অ্যান্ড আহানাফ মির অ্যান্ড শাহিদা আজম আনাফের মাদার ওয়েলকাম ব্যাক আপা থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ সো আমরা কথা বলতেছি আমাদের টপিক কিন্তু আমরা চুজ করেছি স্টার্টিং এর গ্রামার এন্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুল সো ট্রেসি আই ওয়াজ টকিং টু ইউ বিফোর দ্য ব্রেক অ্যাবাউট ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুল এন্ড গ্রামার স্কুল আই আস্ক ইউ মেনি কোয়েশ্চেন আই আস্ক ইউ বাট ইউর সেলফ এজ ওয়েল আই আই নো নাও দ্যাট ইউ আর গেটিং ইউ গোট দ্য স্কলারশিপ ফুল স্কলারশিপ সো এট দ্য এন্ড অফ ইউর স্টাডি হোয়েন ইউ কাম আউট দ্য ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুল উইল বি পেয়িং probably about 300000 pounds most likely most yeah. likely and then you go to university. university after that this is very good and obviously you had the chance how did you get into the st paul's where this particular school okay so um it's all really due to my head teacher at my primary school so i got i went into year 3 and due to the year 2 sats i had high results can i just stop you yeah. which primary school did you go to oh i went to blue gate fields junior school so that's a normal state school blue gate is a normal state school yeah, yeah. but blue gate fields school is a good school yeah blue gate fields and then in year 3 what happened so in year 3 um the head teacher saw that i had scored high in my year 2 sats so she talked to my parents and she told them about st paul's girls school and she said that oh i have potential like if i work for it, i could potentially get in And so before that my parents didn't know about grammar schools or the 11 plus or independent schools so they obviously agreed and so in year 4 I went to St Paul's Girls School for a week at in for a summer school and so there we had like lessons and teachers were like um like noting us down and then writing stuff down because we were being like e- essentially examined on how we were and then in year 5 i went back for like just a single day and then in year 6 that was when the examination um started so did you have to sit for the exam yeah the formal exam isn't it yeah there are like what kind of exams are there rounds. so the first round is in november because private schools have exams um later cuz grammar schools have exams in like early september right. but so my computer when test when you are 5 it should they start exam or year 6 no yes yes six. Six. okay good so as soon as in you autumn start year six, in autumn term in autumn term yeah yeah okay so right. in november we had a 2 hour digital exam on a computer so you'd sit there Two hours digital exam. Yeah. Two hours. It's And then time. so there'll be questions coming at you really quickly, like with a few seconds for you to answer. And so that was like non-verbal reasoning, verbal reasoning. And then obviously numerical and like English. And there was also a comprehension section. But that was all timed. So you had to be really fast and get all the answers right for you to do that. And then in January, we had the written examination. So that was... So that's the first exam for two hours. Yeah. And if, if you got you into that, that exam, then, then you'd have the, the written phase. examination. Yeah. So that was in January. So that was um, like a whole day of tests. So you spent the whole day at the school. And you'd 
get tested in maths, English and like a comprehension paper, so which was just more general studies. So the math paper was um, 25 minutes of like three papers and so once you completed that they take it away and then you'd only have 25 minutes to finish a whole math paper right. and so that was obviously very time pressured as well and it's um, from all different kinds of math so like shape but also like number and reasoning and then we have an English paper where you have to do um, like descriptive writing and so right. I th in my examination I had to do a letter in others they probably have to do diary entries or like just normal um, so if you want to prepare for that just try uh, practicing different styles of writing and then the comprehension was more general knowledge so that was more verbal and non-verbal because they'd give you quite a range of subjects that they test you and then if you pass that you'd have an interview Wow. So yeah. you had first two a digital, digital exam, yeah. and then you go for maths and English exam in January. Then if you pass this, the two, have and then you go to the an full interview. interview, okay? So the, an interview is, um, so you go there and you have a teacher from the school. I had the head teacher, but I didn't know it was a head teacher at that point. So um, they speak to you on a lot of stuff. So they want to get to know you. It's not just that you want high results, because they need to make sure that the student will be able to cope in the environment so it doesn't wow. matter if you just consistently get high marks that's not how it works so you have to they the teachers have to see that you will enjoy the school so um, I remember so they would talk to me about me and obviously extracurriculars as well that's quite important so they I think they prefer people who do a range of activities right. so and they I remember in the interview they gave me like a picture and then I'd had to talk about the picture and um, they gave me a list of metaphors and you had to choose which one described you. So they really want to get you on a personal level. About your, yeah, about what exactly. sort of person you are, yes. And because I applied for the bursary scholarship, there was also a home visit that they did. Wow. Yeah, so that meant that they came over to our house um, to like, because I was at school then, and so they'd come and like, talk to your parents and stuff and um, I ended up getting like a laptop and a printer that was like sponsored at home you mean yeah wow you are yeah, so exactly. lucky yeah so you told me you told us about the whole process starting yeah. in November yeah until sort of like the end of maybe January or February isn't yeah it? about February March about February yeah. so after all this testing they, they Finally, told you that yeah. you are selected yeah for that particular school. Yeah. Congratulations. This Thank is great. You. And you have been studying for the last six years now, five years. Four. Four years. Yeah. Three more years to go. Yeah. When you finish your air levels, isn't it? Yeah, because our school has a sixth form as well, so I'm not going to be switching. No. And for yeah. sixth form, will they, uh, are they going to provide you with a scholarship? Uh, yeah, they are. They are. Yeah. This is very good. It now, is. I'll come to you later and talk about your study patterns and okay. your extracurricular tasks and yeah. maybe <laughs> some good tips for the, those students if they want to go or okay. they want to apply for the place yeah. at St. Paul's Schools for Girls or any other school or St. Paul's Schools for the Boys. There's yeah. another school. There's the a kind of same well. status school, isn't yeah. it? Same kind of school. Yeah. Ahanaf, now, grammar school boy, you tell us about your preparation. I know your mom mentioned briefly from year four onwards you started. Okay, what did you have to do in order to go to this King Edward the Sixth Grammar School? Um, um, for gram the eleven plus, it's it's um, it's stated to be um, tutor tutor proof, but having taken it, I would recommend tutoring, and um, and the um, and it's best to like study with a, like as my mom said a timetable. And if you like mess up that timetable, your um, it's going to like affect your learning. Like maybe you'll have if you don't do it properly, maybe you'll have a thirty minutes less study. So if you do, if you have any homework to do, you'll have less time to do it. So it's best to stick to a um, a timetable. Yeah. And uh, I went to a tutor. Um, for two hours on Saturday, in um, from year four to year six, but in the um, year six summer holiday, we did uh, like um, for the 
five weeks. Mm -hmm. For the last five weeks, we had one week um, free. Had the uh, um, staff the holiday, but in the next five weeks, we did like it's. It was kind of like a proper school okay. with the summer holiday. Okay. And they gave you homework to do daily, and but yeah. So and basically, you start preparing yourself from year four onwards until year five. So what kind of your mom mentioned about the Bible and non Bible, and that is quite different from the, your normal school, isn't it? In yes. normal school, you don't have to do all these kind of things, isn't it? Yes, and um, in um, the uh, the states, I think it's um, state the, school, the yeah. state school, yeah. In the state primary schools, they wouldn't teach you um, non-verbal and verbal reasoning. Right. And um, so you'd have to learn it at home or at a tutor. Okay. And um, so did you did you feel that you had to do extra extra stuff on the top of your education in primary school? Did uh, you feel that way? It wasn't really extra extra, but it was um, you had to do a bit more. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, you did also have to take into account um, the work you also did in primary school mm. because that was, um, I thought of it as a way to right. revise back to the basics a bit. So did you like doing this study for two years before going to your primary school or your parents said, no, you have to do it? Uh, no, I, um, I did enjoy it because my teacher... You didn't enjoy it? I did enjoy you it. You did enjoy it. I yes. like it. Very nice to hear that. This is because, very good. Because um, the tutor was funny. Okay. And we'd we'd have fun uh -huh. there, because I th I think um, having fun while you're learning is yes. fun. And earlier your mom mentioned about being someone being happy. Yes. Yes. And really want to do this, so because I can see you enjoy that. If yeah. you're forced to do work before grammar school, you'll ha you'll cope with that before you'll cope with, you'll cope with them. Um, practicing for 11 plus but when you go to the actual grammar school there's going to be like a lot of homework and stuff so if you're forced to do it you'll have to be forced to do even more homework then you won't be prepared for it absolutely so it's better to be exactly it's better to be um it's um best if you're if you want to do it because if you're forced to do it you mm. you wouldn't do it um to your like um you do it, you won't do it to your full um, potential. Potential. Excellent. Well said. And uh, I believe, do you agree with the, Tracy, do you agree with him what he said? Yeah, I do. Because um, when you get to secondary school, it's like a big jump from primary school. Mm -hmm. So whereas in primary school, you might like know what you're doing, especially right. with 11 plus training. But once you get to secondary, everything completely changes. And as the years go, go by, you definitely have a lot more homework and everything is worth a lot more as well because you get tested regularly and there's a lot more more to look forward to. Absolutely. Priya Darshak, I'm going to tell you about the topic studying at grammar and independent school. So grammar school is a state funded but selected school. It's a year 4th and 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 it's बिभिन्न तरह के एग्जाम प्रोसेस टा स्टडी प्रोसेस टा स्टडी पैटर्न टा चाहिए नहीं कथा बोलते से आप लोग देखो ना शॉन्टन रजत ग्रामर स्कूल जाए इफ यू वांट टू शेयर एनी टिप्स इफ यू वांट टू मेक ए फोन कॉल टू मेक एनी कमेंट्स और इफ यू वांट टू आस्क एनीथिंग अबाउट ग्रामर स्कूल और इंडिपेंडेंट प्राइवेट स्कूल अपना जिज्ञेस करते पारें एवं ट्रेसी मॉडल को था बोलते से एक टा प्राइवेट स्कूल शे जाए सेंट पॉल स्कूल फॉर गर्ल्स इटा वन ऑफ द बेस्ट स्कूल्स इन द कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड आई बोल वो फैंटास्टिक एक टा वन ऑफ द स्कूल्स इन द वर्ल्ड आई बोल वो शिक्षण से एकाडमिक अनिश उन्हें भालो करते से पाशा पाशी शी शी डस अदर थिंग्स एस वेल सो वील टॉक मोर अबाउट दिस शाहिद आजम तो आना तो उन्हें शुद्ध शुद्ध कोई कथा बोल वो आपने ना स्टडी भी वर सपोर्ट करे सें अपने बोले सें हैप्पी एक बार शिक्षण मार्च पुरस्कृत पोर्टेस से एक बार गाइड करा ओके और शायद डिस्कस करा की कोचे शारा दिन प्लस और स्कूले होमवर्क नियालब करा और स्कूले फ्रेंड सर्कल नियालब करे स्कूले की कोरे चे की फन हुए चे एक्स्ट्रा कारीकुलम की किया चे कोथा की भावे जाचे सब शब्ब किचु ते आशले ओके जिकेश करा ओके इन्वॉल्व करा बच्चन तार पड़ो होते जो ओके विजिट करने स्कूल माजू मोड़ दे अन्� 
फोनेट कर যেমন ও একটু ব্যথা পেয়েছিল পায় লাস্ট উইকে আমি ইমেল করার সাথে সাথে ওরা আমাকে ফোন করেছে এবং টু টাইমস ওরা ফোন করে আমাকে বলেছে যা হাওয়া যা হানাফ ইন দ্য স্কুল সো লাইক ওরাও খুব কেয়ার করে বাচ্চাদেরকে কেয়ার করল আর একটা বিষয় হলো যে সকালে সে বের হয় কোটায় ও ও 7:45 ওকে কোচে উঠতে হয় 7:30 তে বাসা থেকে বের হয় বাসায় ফিরে 4:30 তে 4:30 তে जिज्ञेसा হ্যালো আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি আপনাদের পরিবারটা দেখছিলাম এটা খুবই ভালো একটা প্রোগ্রাম হচ্ছে আমি দেখলাম কিছু জানতে পারলাম আজকে क्वेश्चन ছিল সেটা হচ্ছে আমার মেয়ে ইয়ার পড়ে পড়ে আমরা তাকে মাইলিন্ডে হ্যাঁ তো ক্যাচমেন্ট এরিয়ার মধ্যে তো আমাদের এখানে মানে কোন একটা স্কুলে পড়ছে না গ্রামের স্কুল এই বিষয়ে মানে কি করণীয় কি ক্যাচমেন্ট এরিয়ারটা বিষয়ে আরেকটা যে আপু যে বলছিলেন তার ছেলে কোন এক কোচিং কোন এক টিউটরের কাছে গিয়ে পড়তো তার নামটা যদি একটু বলতেন আচ্ছা थैंक यू वेरी मच ধন্যবাদ আপনাকে এই যে আপা যে ফোন করেছেন উনি বলেছেন আপনি ট্রেস ইউ ক্যান অলসো আই নো ইউ ক্যান স্পিক গুড বেঙ্গলি এজ ওয়েল এজ ইট বোথ অফ ইউ হ্যাঁ উনি যে ক্যাচমেন্টের কথাটা বলেছে ওই ব্যাপারটা আপনি মানে क्वेश्चनটা কি ছিল क्वेश्चनটা ছিল উনি তো মাইলন এলাকা থাকে আচ্ছা আচ্ছা টাওয়ার হোমস কোনো গ্রামার স্কুল নাই দ্যাট ইজ নো গ্রামার স্কুল ইন টাওয়ার স্যার আমি ছিলাম হচ্ছে ক্যানিং টাউনে নিহম বড়াতে নিহম বড়াতে কোনো গ্রামার স্কুল তো ছিল না আমার আমার মানে আমার ছেলের এক্সপেরিয়েন্স দিয়ে বললে উনি ব্যাপারটা আরো ভালো বুঝবে সো নিহমে তো কোনো গ্রামার স্কুল নাই ক্যাচমেন্টও নাই বাট কিছু স্কুল আছে যেমন এসএক্স স্কুল ইন কিং এডওয়ার্ড স্কুলে ওদের হচ্ছে 30 স্টুডেন্টস নাই আউটার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে আর 129 আছে ইনার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে শেয়ার টাউন হোমসে করতে পারে अप्लाई নাকি ও अप्लाई করতে পারবে সব স্কুলে অলমোস্ট সব স্কুলে अप्लाई করতে পারবে কিছু স্কুল আছে যেখানে ক্যাচমেন্ট ছাড়া করা যায় না বাট সব স্কুলে করতে পারবে আর ক্যাচ আউটার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে নাম্বারটা ডিফারেন্ট পেতে হবে নাম্বার একটু বেশি পেতে হয় যেমন কিং এডওয়ার্ড দ্য 6 স্কুলে 120 100 120 জন স্টুডেন্ট নাই হচ্ছে ইনার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে 340 পেলে ওরা পাস মার্ক হয়ে যায় ওরা যেতে পারবে বাট আউটার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে যেতে হলে আপনাকে মিনিমাম 370 পেতে হবে अप्लाई করার জন্য 340 জায়গা 370 পেতে হবে হ্যাঁ 370 পেতে হবে আপনাকে স্কুলে अप्लाई করার জন্য সো আউটার ক্যাচমেন্টে সব সময় একটু মার্কসটা বেশি পেতে হবে সেটাই কিন্তু अप्लाई পরীক্ষা দিতে পারবে যেমন ওকে কেন্ট স্কুলে পরীক্ষা দিয়েছে ইলফোর্ডেও পরীক্ষা দিয়েছিল তারপরে বার্নেটে কুইন এলিজাবেথও ওয়েটিং এ ছিল বাট কোন কোন তো নেবারিক বড়তা নেই কিন্তু টাওয়ার হ্যামারসের ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে ট্রেসি তুমি কি কি বলবে এখানে বাংলা একটু বলো তো যে এখন যদি সিটিতে আরো স্কুলগুলো আছে তাই না সিটিতে আরো অনেক স্কুলগুলো আছে সিটি সে ফর एग्जांपल বয়েজ স্কুল ইন দ্য সিটি লাইক সেন পলস আর যেতে চাই যদি ছেলে কি করতে হবে ইয়ার ফুল আম ওয়েল ওর ইস সেন ইংলিশ ওকে So um, I applied to, to grammar schools as well so because I live in Tahamets too and um, so I applied to the schools in Bexley Heath so that's a consortium so that's like uh, four schools and so Are you allowed like, to apply in Bexley? You're allowed yes. to. It's like the catchment thing you have to score above yeah. so with the Bexley I was in the top 180 okay. which meant that I could choose which school I went to oh, whereas yeah, if you got thing. lower yeah. then it meant that they allocated you a school but I could choose and also um, for Henrietta the one in Barnet yes. um you and there is another boys school city of london city of london ah. that's very good city oh, of london. Uh, yeah, yeah there's um city of london girls as well 
So I, you're allowed to apply. It just depends whether you score high enough to get in. Yes. 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 Um, so if you look on the school website and the admission section, they'll probably have in information so there. So can you name some schools then? Okay, City of School, City of London School, one. Um, so there's City of London is for boys and girls. That's a very St. Good Paul's one. St. is Paul's, for boys and girls. One of the best schools, yeah. Um, there are loads of grammar schools. Like There's like 12 oh schools in Kent. There are the CLCS, so that's in like um, Southend, West yes. Cliff. Um, Another one is Forest Gate. Gate. Yeah, the Forest Gate is Gate one also. I think very that's good a private school. So Forest School. Forest Gate. Uh, Forest, Forest School. Forest, um, Forest school. Independent School. Yeah. Different school. That is the one. Tiffin one, isn't There's it? There's Tiffin Girls, Tiffin Boys. Tiffin. There are also lots of boarding schools if you want to go. So basically, yeah. if you are extraordinary student, yeah. academically yeah. and also, lots of people consider moving. Like I know people in Tower Hamlets. If it's too far away, like I know people who want to move to Southend or consider moving towards um, like the grammar schools okay. there as well. So, if I went to Bexley, we probably would have moved to around okay. Bexley or Kent. But yes. what kind of good tips both of you can give okay. as well as you in order to you know get more help and those students okay. they want to apply they can get more help studying at grammar and independent schools আমরা কথা বলতেছি ট্রেসি মন্ডল এবং আহনাপ মি তারা দুজনই একজন গ্রামার স্কুলে যায় একজন ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট প্রাইভেট স্কুলে যায় তো আমাদের একটা ছোট্ট বিরতি যেভাবে বিরতির পর আবার দেখা হচ্ছে আমাদের সাথেই থাকবেন প্রিয় দর্শক বিরতির পর আবার এডুকেশন আমরা আমরা কথা বলছি আমাদের আজকের টপিক স্টাডিং অ্যাট গ্রামার অ্যান্ড ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট স্কুলস Grammar school and independent school is studying the Bachara courses. Grammar school is different than state school. It is selected but government funded. It is a good grammar school. It is a good grammar school. It is a good grammar school. But uh, they are reduced now, obviously. Independent school or private school, which is a fees pay for the whole talented academically uh, through other sort of skills like extracurricular skills at the same time they have to pay fees but if you get the scholarship you don't have to pay fees every year 25,000 pounds so I'm going to share Tracy Mundell on my far left from St. Paul's schools for girls Tracy welcome back and I'm going to share Ahnaf Meen who is a student in year seven at King Edward the Sixth Grammar School. Welcome back, Anna. And on my right, Anna's mother, Shahida Azam, who is a parent and a teacher as well. Salam alaikum. Welcome back. Thank you. 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 Uh, mentioned usually I'm uh, live on the telephone number the power one but what you can do after you the other technical team is that you have to do phone code after number time of phone code for each other with the one who knows with the night after the groups you get caught up please about independent schools and grammar school usually from primary school from year four onwards but Chara Shuru Kore preparation exam preparation should act to different Verbal, non-verbal, reasoning, each of the skills develop could the way among a can a couple of sense I dapa preparation to every routine on a jay court to have a before year five. So year six is on exam to have a check exam and beat the shirt. She can choose for a high. So Shahida Alam Azam. I mean, I'm not going to say she I want to take a primary to get she get a child. Is that it? Slava Nikum. Hello, I'm going to ask you a question. Hello, I'm going to ask you a question. Hello, I'm going to ask you a question. You're live on the air. Hello. Hello, please, can you put a television volume down? Completely mute, please. Thank you. You're live on the air. Any comments or any questions to the panel? Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello, I'm a year seven grammar student from South End. Great. And I'd, I'd just like to say hello to Anna because he and I used to study together. Good. When we were in year five. Okay, which year are you in? This year? I'm in year seven. Year seven. Okay, yes. nice to hear from you. And uh, which grammar school do you go to? Southern High School for Girls. Southern uh, uh, Grammar School for Girls. Yeah. So, would you like to give any tips to any students or any parents watching program about grammar school? Very quickly. Any good tips? Mm. Well, um, first of all, your child needs to be very committed. Only a committed, a committed person will get into a grammar school. Okay. And you also need, need to be very dedicated, like, you need to concentrate on your work and, well, you should really never give up. Very good. But thank you very much for a very encouraging call. Very quickly, we gave three tips. You're thank welcome. you. Thank you. All the best wishes. You are here seven. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. So, এখন তো ক্যাচমেন্ট এরিয়া যেটা আমরা একটু বলে থাকি টাওয়ার হ্যামলেটস থেকে বাইরের স্কুলগুলো দেখুন দেওয়া যায় নাকি হুম এখন দেওয়া যায় লাস্ট 2 ইয়ার্স থেকে ওরা স্টার্ট করেছে আবার লাইক ইলফোর্ড স্কুলে গত বছর থেকে শুরু করলো ইয়ার 7 এ যেতে পারবে ইয়ার পরীক্ষা দিতে পারবে গ্রামার স্কুলে ক্যাচ আউটার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে তারপর ল্যাটিমার গ্রামার স্কুলেও সেটা হচ্ছে ট্রাভেলিং এখন টাওয়ার হ্যামলেটস ট্রাভেল করলে তো 2 ঘন্টা লাগে যাবে তাই না অনেক সময় নো আরেকটা জিনিস যেমন আমার আমরা আমরা তো আউটার ক্যাচমেন্ট থেকে পরীক্ষা দিয়েছিল सामने ड्रप कर परीक्षा दी रेजल्ट चान्स <coughs> But I not shop school. You are very, you are very good reader. Uh, yes. I know your mom. She started encouraging you from very early age. Yes. Okay. So tell us about the importance of reading. Uh, first reading is fun, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you read um, a wide, a wide variety of books a lot, then um, it'll help with your uh, creative writing in good. in the eleven plus or. Uh, in the tests, or well, not only in the test, even anywhere, if anywhere. in school, isn't it? And if I read your creative story, I will be probably enjoying. Yeah. Yes. And um, and it's uh, it's going to be if you read a wide variety of books, then if um, and you know it, then um, if you read co comprehend, com if you do comprehension, you'd you didn't you probably wouldn't know the book. But you'd understand the genre of it, and, you'd wow. and if you read it, different genre you'll be reading here. Yeah, that's right. Yes, you. Yeah. So this is very good, and also you, c you can extend your vocab. You know, a lot of words yeah. you will learn, yeah. and then yeah. in writing, when you go to, you know, you can write more. You can communicate with people better. Ways. And it's exactly. a lot of other words you can use, isn't it? Yeah, and it's helpful for verbal reasoning. Excellent, excellent. Because of the vocabulary. Right. What extracurricular tasks or activities do you do? Um. I I play basketball. Basketball. Why do you play basketball? Um, because it's fun. It's fun. And I like it. Okay. Do you play in school team? Mm, no, but I used to train with a with a team. Okay. And uh, yeah, and I also yeah. do a, um I do a bit of I do a bit of singing, and I used to do drama. So definitely have to hear singing something today. Then little bit singing. Uh, no. Drama. Poem. 
Hilti. I'm going to read a poem. Yes. Very short, maybe. maybe. I'll come. On that note, can maybe. I take a call? Salam alaikum, Darshak. Poor children, no matter what you ask. What are your names? Hello, Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum. I am a young parent. Phone call. Si, I'm a little person. Si, I'm a little person. Thank you. 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 ढुके इनफरमेशन विभिन्न जगह स्टपेज आनी देखते मान्थलि हंड्रेड फोर्टी पाउंड कर मेशन पे जा क्लास Um, so the like, really old literature because it's not like modern vocabulary because it's obviously more refined and sophisticated and so it's good for like obviously writing like creative writing and like stories but also it's it helps you become more knowledgeable because you can talk to people um with better english really and um i enjoy reading like mystery or thriller or all re- like genres you're basically. nodding your head i can see that yes. <laughs> yeah and um so for extra curriculars obviously since i was young i've been doing like singing and dancing and i still do that so um that's really interesting because like my mum has been like um doing that for me ever since i was like 3 So I've continued that because it is enjoyable and it is fun and it still helps me be connected to like Bengali heritage and stuff. Excellent. So Bengali heritage. So I'd like to hear something from you about Bengali heritage. <laughs> you okay. do singing, you do dancing. Obviously this is a stage we can't do any dancing. No. But definitely I would like to hear something at least Bengali song but before that can I go to Anaf? Okay. Anaf, your poem please. We'd like to hear. Um okay. This I know you write a lot. I do. Um this poem was for um a school um competition mm-hmm. um for the World Poem Day because this year's poem uh, and this year's um poem a uh, kind of subject was the truth. Mm-hmm. Um so I made a poem about it. Good. It's called the A World of Lies. World of Lies. Yes. Okay. Life a web of lies. is the truth only what we see with our eyes we all have opinions we all take sides but all that we think right a flat earth area of 51 aliens people believe that this is the truth lots of conspiracy but no proof we believe what comes out of any mouth made by a deceitful tongue and a two-faced tooth our only pu- pure words fact how do we know what we aren't all part of an act when we hear the truth our thoughts are attacked so we make up lies or overreact if what we think is true is a lie then in the truth of fish in the sky so many questions in our minds is there god what happens after we die but what do i know i'm here for the search maybe what we think are lies are as true as there's life on earth Very good word. Lies and conspiracy. A lot of that things he put it in your yeah. poem. Thank you. I like your poem. Yeah, that's very good. On that note, can I take a call? Slava Nikum Darshak. Poor Chidi, get a moment. Book on the post. What are you going to show me? हेलो एप्लीकेशन कत दिन आगे करते हैं 
আমরা যদিও আগে আগে বলেছি আপনি হয়তো ফলো করতে আমি আবার বলবো থ্যাংক ইউ আপা থ্যাংক ইউ খুব সংক্ষেপে আপা কবে অ্যাপ্লাই করতে হয় অ্যাপ্লাই করতে হবে যখন ইয়ার 5 এ উঠে বাচ্চা এন্ড মে বাচ্চাটা যখন ইয়ার 5 এ পড়ে দ্যাট দ্যাট ইয়ার প্রথম থেকে অ্যাপ্লাই করতে হবে না ইয়ার 5 এ মে মে মাস থেকে শুরু হবে মে মাস থেকে জুন পর্যন্ত টাইম 3 মান্থস টাইম থাকে বিভিন্ন স্কুলে অ্যাপ্লাই করার জন্য ওকে গুড বাট আরেকটা জিনিস করতে হবে আমি এটা যেটা বলি বাচ্চাদের যেটা আমিও করেছি সেটা হচ্ছে ওপেন ডে থাকে বাচ্চা স্কুলের ওপেন ডে থাকে সেটা ইয়ার 4 এও যেতে পারে ইয়ার 5 এও থাকে যেন আপনি যদি কোন স্কুল সিলেক্ট করেন সেই স্কুল অনলাইনে ঢুকে দেখবেন যে ওপেন ডে থাকে হবে সেই স্কুলে ভিজিট করাটা অনেক ইম্পর্টেন্ট কেন বাচ্চাটার ভেতর आनंदितुशन आनंदित फील करी भविष्य जेनारेशन तलो छोट गान Um, I do Bengali singing. Yes, please. And so I'll sing um, a Lalon song. So Manush Guru Nish Thazar. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. To be a little bit too short, too short. Shar bo shadhon she do hai tar. Shar bo shadhon she do hai tar. Manush Guru Nish Thazar. Bhave Manush Guru Nish Thazar. No di king ba bil bar ka shor bos tare ki ek ja No di king ba bil bar ka shor bos tare ki ek ja कविता एक बांगला लालन गीत शुनला We are so happy. Thank Now, you. 
আমরা প্রোগ্রামের শেষ পর্যায়ে আসি আমি আপনার কাছে প্রথম আসি এরপরে দুজন কাছ থেকে আমরা টিপস নিয়ে নিব যারা প্রোগ্রাম দেখতেছেন আজকে যারা প্যারেন্টসরা তাদের কি গ্রামার স্কুলে যেমন ইয়ার ফোর ইয়ার থ্রি ইয়ার ফাইভে উঠেছে বাচ্চারা এখন যোগাযোগ করবে গ্রামার স্কুলে যাবে দুটা তিনটা টিপস আপনি দেবেন তাদের জন্য একটা টিপস যে ইয়ার ফোর থেকে স্লোলি স্লোলি পড়া শুরু করতে হবে একটা নির্দিষ্ট রুটিনের মধ্যে অবশ্যই পড়তে হবে এভরি ডে ওয়ান আওয়ার হোক বাট ওয়ান আওয়ার করে বাচ্চাকে পড়াতে হবে ভার্বাল নন ভার্বাল স্পেশালি ভোকাবুলারিটা অনেক অনেক ইম্পর্টেন্ট এখানে আরেকটা হচ্ছে যে সবচেয়ে বড় আমি যেটা বলবো যে কখনো বাচ্চাকে নেগেটিভ কথা বলা যাবে না কারোর সাথে কম্পেয়ার করা যাবে না সবসময় একটা এনকারেজ করতে হবে হ্যাঁ সবসময় এনকারেজ করতে হবে সত্যি কথা গ্রামার স্কুলের এটা হচ্ছে সম্পূর্ণই এক্সট্রা একটা টপ অফ অল দেয় এডুকেশন একটা এক্সট্রা প্রেশার ওদের জন্য বাট কখন এটা ফিল করতে হবে না যে তুমি আমি প্রেশার দিয়ে তোমাকে করাচ্ছি কাজটা বাচ্চাকে এনকারেজ করতে হবে আর অলওয়েজ পজিটিভলি অলওয়েজ পজিটিভ কথা বলতে হবে ওদের সাথে সেটা হচ্ছে কথা আর সবচেয়ে বড় কথা হচ্ছে গ্রামার স্কুল হোক ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট মেন স্ট্রিম স্কুল হোক যে স্কুলে পড়ুক বাচ্চাটা সবচেয়ে আমি প্রথমে যেটা বলেছি বাচ্চাকে হ্যাপি থাকতে হবে বাচ্চাকে এনজয় করতে হবে আর হচ্ছে ভালো মানুষ হতে হবে সবসময় সুন্দর কথা বলছেন Um, they get any distractions don't have any distractions around right. you like a sibling or anything and <laughs> and, and, else? and uh, okay. if you if you don't want to do 11 plus tell your parents because right. because even if you do go to a state school it doesn't really matter what school you go to mm-hmm. it it matters about how much um what how much your um focusing on that work thank you i got your message finally you tracy what I are you going to say with that. so it tips. doesn't really matter whether you go to like a state school or a grammar school or an independent school the main thing is that you focus yourself on the work you're doing because like it's it's not as if a state school is a bad thing because it all depends on the Absolutely. individual person Absolutely. so you might find that if you did go to a grammar school you might find yourself struggling and eventually performing worse whereas if you went to a state school you can focus more of your attention on the work you're doing because in the end everyone does GCSEs and stuff so um, it doesn't matter so as long as you try and put the work in yourself and don't rely on the school like even if I go to a private school I can't like put everything to my teachers and say oh yeah I'm still gonna do well because it yeah ends up on me as well and some more tips is that um just try not to stress too much because it will all work out like if you're trying to um apply to a grammar school or a um or a private school just make sure you take time to relax and also understand what you're doing so it doesn't mean that you memorize your workbooks or like papers you should actually know how to apply that knowledge thank you Thank you, Tracy, for your very good tips. Very Excellent. Sure. Because today we concentrated on studying at grammar school and independent yeah. school. This is very good. Good tips. And also you encourage other people as well. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We have a topic about studying at grammar and independent schools. We have a very good topic about studying at grammar and independent schools. We have a very good topic about studying at grammar and independent schools. We have a very good topic about studying at grammar and independent schools. We have a very good topic about studying at grammar and independent schools. We have a very good topic about studying at grammar and independent schools.